The Valley's best rock, 105.1 The Blaze. So last night, Justice was hanging out at Maya Cinemas to check out the new Jumanji movie. Let's find out how it went. Let's bring justice to movies time. The movie industry is made up of two separate but equally important groups. The theaters who display the movies and the critics who overvalue their opinions. These are our reviews. The Morning Blaze is bringing justice to the movies. All right, Justice, welcome back. What's up? I already set it up. Last night you were at Maya Cinemas again for Bring Justice to the Movies this week. Yes, sir. You were seeing Jumanji. Jumanji. The next level. Why do we both say it like that? Because like both... that's, that's kind of how they say it. Like, when people say Jumanji, you have to say it dramatically. Okay. Well, we did that. Uh, yeah. how, was the, how was the movie? Uh, I really liked it. I thought it was funny. Like, uh, Obviously, it's supposed to be funny, but seeing The Rock do a Danny DeVito impression throughout the majority of the movie was hilarious. So set the scene. Why is he doing a Danny DeVito impression? <laughs> For those who don't know what Jumanji is, act yeah. like I just got to this planet and I have no idea what's okay. going on. So before you have seen this movie, <laughs> there was another movie <laughs> where kids get sucked into a video game. Okay. And one of the kids decides to jump back in the game after they had destroyed it after the, the last movie. So he rebuilt it to jump back in to play again. Well, that sounds like an awful idea because didn't they almost die the first time? Yes. Okay. And they all almost died this time, okay. shockingly. So why did he do this? <clears throat> Does he have uh, no friends? Is he lonely and, and longing well, for a, a time past? That, that was yeah, no, he was longing for a time past. How did literally. I guess? <laughs> Because they all went to college after the last well, movie because they were right. in high school, and he was not the feeling as confident as usual. The bonds had been destroyed, and he was alone. Okay, all right. Pretty much. So okay. he jumped in, and they're all supposed to meet up, but he never shows up. So they go to his house and like, what's this? The game's put back together. No way. <laughs> okay, so the plot's not super thick here. We, not we, really. We, we, jump, we just jump right back into it. <laughs> Pretty Dan, much. Danny DeVito wasn't in the first one, so how come he's no. in this one? Uh, so he's the kid that went in, Spencer. Uh -huh. He's his grandpa. Oh, and okay. he's like living at their house now since he left. Okay, and there's a whole other side story with the grandpa and Danny Glover's character. They okay. were former business associates, and he goes and visits him, and they happen to be there when everyone gets sucked into the game, and they end up getting and pulled they end in up too. getting pulled in. Okay, so there are the Rock and Kevin Hart's characters. Okay, and it is absolutely hilarious. Kevin Hart did amazing playing an old man <laughs> in a normal body. Because his whole character is that he talks way too much before he gets to the point. Right. And he uh, he just did it so well. Okay. I was dying the whole movie. And then Jack Black was uh, one of the female characters in mm -hmm. the first one. I remember. She he was the she was the, the hot girl from the first one. Yeah. I mean, like the quote-unquote hot girl from yeah. the movie. I didn't mean to be well, chauvinistic. I just meant that was, <laughs> that was the character. The high school cheerleader. There you go. There you go. That's what you meant to say. <laughs> A.K.A. hot girl. <laughs> So uh, when he rewired the game, everything got messed up. Mm -hmm. So he didn't do it right. So Jack Black was actually Fridge from the first movie. Okay. So, so the, the big football player right. became this short old fat guy. Right. Okay. And him him doing that was even almost even better than Kevin Hart. Okay. And during the press junkets for this, Jack Black said this might be his last movie. Really? Yeah. There's no way Jack Black finishes his career with Jumanji 2. It was pretty good. Really? He, I was dying the whole time well, when we'll he take, was on. We'll so. take bets on that. Uh, <laughs> before we wrap this up, it's 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 a movie that's that's you know based for it's it's I don't want to say it's a kids movie, but it's like an adolescent movie, right? Or is yeah, this no, like a family film? It, How would you describe this? Who should go see it? Definitely like. 13 and up movie. Right, okay. They're, they're the ones that are going to understand That's the, the target, humor. The junior high school demographic? Yes, That's the demographic? yes. Okay. That demographic up. Of course, there's adult jokes in it. They so make like, references and stuff. if you're trying to impress a date, might not be Jumanji 2? Yeah, probably not. Probably not. You, you should be dating already to go to this movie. <laughs> Unless you're, you know, trying to land a Sadie Hawkins date or something. I don't know. Did they do that in junior high? Jumanji 2, thumbs up from you? Yeah. No, check it out. It's it's hilarious. Is it yeah or no? Yes. Yeah, no? It's a yeah, no. No, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Jumanji 2, you can check it out at Maya Cinemas this weekend. Uh, check out their website for reserved seating. Always thanks to those guys. Now, next week. Next week. What are we seeing? Rise of Skywalker. That's what's up. Star Wars time. Baby. I, look, are, have you been a fan of the recent trilogy? I didn't care for Last Jedi all that much. I've but... loved all of them. I think it's just, I don't, I mean, it's just, just my fandom. I'm not one of those fans that like tears things apart. I enjoy just the films. I like being in that universe. So yeah. I'm like, I'm all in oh, no, all the yeah. time. I fully like, I still liked it as a fan. There was just a couple parts here and there that I was like, eh, I don't know if that makes sense, but okay. doesn't need to make sense. No, doesn't. I know. All right, I'm I know. excited about it. We'll do that next week. That's a big one. If you want to check out Rise yeah. of Skywalker, be listening Tuesday. Justice, well done. Thank you very much. Thank you.
The movie industry is made up of two separate but equally important groups. The theaters who display the movies and the critics who overvalue their opinions. These are our reviews. The Morning Blaze is bringing justice to the movies.